it's Beth again. So, five ways that I started to cut cow's milk out of my diet. You can see a few things right here that I've replaced it with and I don't even miss the cow's milk. And you're wondering, why did you have to do that in the first place? Well, emergency gallbladder surgery, celiac, and IBS, a lot of digestive issues. Turns out one of the stressors to my body was cow's milk. A lot of people lack the enzymes to break it down, so it just causes a lot of symptoms. You may be suffering from symptoms that you don't even realize. If you think about these cows, especially if you get um, milk that's not organic, are filled with vaccines and all kinds of chemicals and antibiotics that we end up drinking from the milk. A lot of extra hormones because the, the cows stay pregnant their whole lives, so you're getting a lot more estrogen. Once again, you can do the research. I'm not a nutritionist. I don't claim to be. I just know that there are a lot of dioxins in the cow's milk too that might live in your body for a while causing harm. So I made the switch. You can see right here, first thing would be switching to almond milk or coconut milk. Don't even miss it. My little grandson, he's four years old, he loves to drink coconut milk. I don't even think he knows what cow's milk is. So ice cream, who's not addicted to ice cream? There's a lot of corn syrup and inflammatory things in today's ice cream process now that um, it's not only the cow's milk that you need to avoid. I found a brand called So Delicious with this blue label because no sugar added. It's only one gram of sugar, but it's made with coconut milk sweetened with erythritol. If you need the ice cream, try this. It's awesome. It tastes really good. Another thing would be this coconut creamer that I use in my coffee. If you read the label, there's not a lot of processed foods in here. It's coconut milk, filtered water, a little bit of organic cane sugar, and I put this in my coffee in the mornings. And then another thing is goat's cheese. Now, this is your usual goat's cheese that has a twang to it. A lot of my clients are like, I don't like goat's cheese, but this, and you can find this at places like, you know, Whole Foods and Fresh Market, they have a lot of hard goat's cheese that tastes just like cow's milk. You can shred them, put them on pizza and salads, eat them with crackers and whatnot, and you don't even miss the cheese. But this heavy whipping cream, it is full fat and it's organic, and somehow the pH here my body can tolerate and a lot of other people's body can tolerate this whipping cream. So you can whip it up with a little bit of stevia, you know, and put it on some really healthy foods like fruits and whatnot, and it replaces whipped cream and yogurt and so on. They also have a lot of, um, different kind of yogurts out there with like cashew milk. Kerrygold butter, once again, an all grass-fed butter. I think it's imported from Ireland and my body can tolerate this. So these are really good staples, um, cheese, milk, creamers. I work as a nutrition response tester and that is a way to communicate with your body to find the nutrition that it needs to heal and we can also find out the stressors to your body. Where I work is a place called Naturally You. If you need to know more, I've put the link below. Now, my question for the day for you is, how many of you have made the switch from cow's milk to almond milk? And if you have the answer to it, just type it in below. If you have any questions for me, type it in below. And once again, this is me, you do you, and I'll talk to you soon.